Alright, what's up guys? Um, another meme deck. Uh, Indomitable Creativity is the card we're playing with today. Uh, this was a card I tried to make work in standard a little bit when it was legal, and it never happened. Um, but it's sort of a weirdo polymorph. Um, and we're just playing a monorail deck based around it. Will we win any matches? Maybe, maybe not. Um, there's a lot of problems, a lot of flaws with this deck. It can't really be good just because of the nature of the cards I'm playing. But maybe it'll be sweet, maybe we'll achieve some wins. It should be at least somewhat fun. So, um, okay, so what are we playing? Um, so the most basic combination of things that you can do in this deck is just play three mountains, play a dwarven mine, which says if you, uh, it's a mountain that comes to play tap unless you have three other mountains, and then you get a one one if you have, uh, if it comes to play untapped. So that means on the fourth turn, we get a free one one off our land, and then this card is X red, 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 destroy X target artifact or creatures for each permanent destroyed this way. Its controller reveals the top card of their library until an artifact or creature card is revealed and exiles that card. Um, those players put the cards on the battlefield that shuffle their libraries. So, um, if you build your deck without artifacts or creatures, or with, with only one artifact or creature, it means you're gonna roll into it every single time that you play this card. Um, and the way we're gonna generate creatures to destroy, or you can make artifact tokens too, but I just, I wanted to be mono red just cause this card's like red intensive and I just wanted to have like a straightforward version of the deck. Um, but the way, the way you accomplish that is by just having spells that make tokens. So we have uh, a Miser's Dragon Fodder, three Chandra Acolyte of Flame, uh, Horling out, Outburst, and then, like, if, if you're in a pinch, you can get a Sarkon token. But the most straightforward and easy thing is to just play Dwarven Mine on a curve. So turn, turn four, you can just make a, a World Spun Worm. Um, and then, aside from that, we just have a bunch of removal. Um, so, like, you can play, like, a mid-rangey Planeswalker game some percentage of the time if, like, your plan doesn't come together. Um, and yeah, just a bunch of removal. And then I have uh, just some card filtering stuff in case you draw the world spider worm because it'll get shuffled back into the deck. Um, and then Anger of the Gods and just Planeswalkers. So, and then the sideboard's pretty awful, but like we're a mono red deck that can't use artifacts or creatures. So your options are kind of limited. I'm trying to release the Gremlins just because it makes a 2 2 and it's like a shatter effect. Uh, crumble, crumble for field decks, fourth Anger for creature decks. Melee for red decks, Alpo Siege, any matchup, any grindy matchup, same as Sahili, and then Chandra's for blue decks, because I think if you play against the deck of counter spells, it's going to be a little bit rough. Um, and then I have Fry, because Teferi and Oko, I mean, this doesn't really answer Oko, but it can kind of help in conjunction with like some of your Planeswalkers and tokens. Um, but yeah, Teferi and Oko just bouncing the worm is kind of rough. Um, so. Part of that is having like Chandra and Sahili to pivot around this plan. Um, and another thing I'll say about the deck is it probably shouldn't play for World Spine Worms. It's kind of excessive and you don't really need it. But it's mostly for the memes. I just like, I want to have some games where I just put four of these into play because I think it'll be funny for the video. So that's what we're doing. Um, and we'll see if we can get any ones. Or maybe we'll just crash and burn and get obliterated by counter spells and thought seizes. We'll see. I mean, I think I think if we just have some reasonable draws or play like against a creature-centric matchup, we have a chance. Um, but yeah, like if we play against like control decks or decks that where our, our removal is blanked, it's gonna be kind of tough. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I I'm not gonna pretend my matchup versus mono black is gonna be good, but I think mono black's probably winnable. Um, like the aggressive green decks are winnable, the mono green devotion, winnable matchup, blue eye control is probably completely unwinnable. Um, and like against Jeskai Ascendancy, maybe we can just like kill them before they set their stuff up, but that's not that likely either because we're not that good at interacting with what they're doing. We'll see. I kind of just want to play against a bunch of Elvish Mystics. I think that's. That's the dream scenario. Should probably just leave the deck up. But yeah, this is just like a really rough draft based off of an idea I had the other day. Um, that I wanted to give 
give a try, but yeah, it's extremely rough. Like, we're just playing a bunch of just horrible cards, like Thrill and Cathartic Reunion without any graveyard synergy, and just like mismatch random removal. Um, but I think the Planeswalkers are at least like real magic cards. I think all of these cards are respectable. Um, and it's not insane to have removal, like, whatever, with the Planeswalkers. And Chandra's kind of nice, because it lets you, like, if you're playing against a Thoughtseize deck, it lets you recast, uh, Creativity. Because it technically costs, it's converted mana cost on the Great Bridge 3. So that's kind of cute. Like, if you, if you end up, like, with a Worm, you can, if, if for whatever reason you need to, you can re, you can break your Worm into five Worms and then get a new 15-15. Alright, winning the roll is nice. Um, hmm, so this is our most important card. We have 25 lands to make sure we hit land drops. This is kind of already a mold to six. I could just mulligan. This is one of the more important cards though. If this is a fine six. try it, I guess. Like, having the worm sucks, but we do have some things that can just discard it for value. Whereas, like, if we mold a six and put this on the bottom, like, let's just say we drew the exact same hand. I think it'd be a, maybe a little bit better to have the worm in the hand, just because we can discard it later. Okay, Swamp Go, probably Mono Black Aggro, and then this looks like Fatal Push, which it's not really, like, a thing we can play into, so... Hopefully they just play like a copter, we abrade it, and then we can just play Chandra on an open board at some point. Ooh. Okay, so if we draw a land, we get the World Spine Horn then on turn four in the play. Uh, they just murderous rider me. It should still zero. I don't really care about the two points, so. Hopefully they don't just kill it. Yeah. So I missed out on two points. I think that plays fine either way. I right, we get Chandra. Hopefully they don't have a second murder striker. Door of mine would have been a really good draw. It's kind of a sad one to get rid of. Can't deal with a wrinkle. Second murder strider. God. That's really unfortunate. So we just want a token generator. That's beautiful. Absolutely perfect. So if they draw Thoughtseize, I'm gonna be really sad. If they don't, I think we have a reasonable shot. Kinda want them to tap out here. So I think they have push, which means I need a land. Nice. I kinda wanna attack with all my things. Will they push one? The upside's high enough. The ones don't really matter. Should win either way. So we're at least going to get one worm. Yeah, I don't think it really matters either way. Nice, we're doing it. This is exciting. So they should push one, and then we get a 15-15 with Trample, and they're 12. Alright, here we go. <laughs> 
Oh, nice mono black deck, idiot. World Spine Worm. This is sweet. I'm really happy right now. <laughs> Uh, for whatever reason, every time I just play some bullshit deck, it feels like the first game, it always works. Just no matter what, like, the Moto Gods are just like, you know what, have fun with the first game. You'll lose all, all your matches, but at least enjoy the first game, you know? Alright, we got them. Sweet. Okay, so I don't want to board. Definitely want the anger. Um, and then what does release do? Just it's copter. I don't think that's good enough. I could just overload removal, or I could try like this. Are they gonna have virulent plague? Okay, this was something that I that I was conscious of when I built the deck, but I didn't really adapt the deck after the fact. Where like if someone just virulent plagues me, I can't really do anything unless I have Sarkon. Uh, so that's kind of tricky. So maybe I should sideboard with that in mind somewhat. Maybe not. So Rose seems kind of poor. Um, this is just to be able to kill like big green creatures. But maybe they should be lava coils. I'm not really sure. Um, I'll post Siege is like kind of a nice grindy card. I'm going to try the Apo Siege with four angers. Um, and then I'm just gonna board out double worm, I think. So, like, having extra worms is nice versus the decks that can actually deal with it, but since my opponent's mono black, like, they shouldn't really be able to deal with one world spine worm. Um, uh, maybe they can outgrind it, but we'll still have two in the deck, and I don't think I'm ever gonna need to get more than two worms with this. Uh, the only issue is gonna come up if we draw them. Um, so do I want roast over anything else I have? So I think my removal's set up pretty well for Mono Black. Alright. I'm gonna keep this. Again, this is the most important card, so we don't have a way to make tokens yet, but I think it's fine. We get to look for it with Cathartic, and then we have Impulse for a one drop, potentially. Bunch of discard spells versus us, which makes me even more happy that I boarded in the outpost siege. Because like if they just have a draw where they play like one guy and three discard spells, I think I might be able to outgrind it some percentage of the time just with like planeswalkers and my own removal. Just like little Chandra flashing back magma spray and anger of the gods, and then outpost siege drawing extra cards. Well, it's probably a great draw considering they just took this, but they might have a uh, smuggler's copter and they just don't want to be, to be able to deal with it well. So, that makes sense. Sure. I assume this is going to go. Maybe it's a knight. Oh, Bloodsuck Champion. Sure. Oh, we still have four angers and a magma sprite left in the deck, so. Should be alright. Um. I don't want to discard. It's a little tricky. They only have two cards left. Um, them letting me keep this makes me think... They either have another discard spell or they're just going to like play around it being good. Um, I kind of want the Abrade though. I think I'm going to gamble and discard land creativity. So I have a mix of Cathartic Union and Thrill Possibility just because of like spots like this. Um, it can be awkward, but like 
with, with like, if you have four World Spine Arms in your deck, sometimes I think Cathartic's a little better. Maybe I should just not have Cathartic at all. Um, but whatever. So this can get back the spray, which can deal with this. And this land doesn't come to play on top. If I draw a mountain, it'll be a free 1-1 one -one though, which is pretty good. Okay, cool. Alright, so that... If, if I can get the Chandras to live, which should be kind of easy, I can try to turn them into a worm. Then I can just embrace the copter. Okay, it looks like I'm in a pretty good spot. If I can just find a land, I can play this minus Magma Spray and then next turn make a 15 15. I think it's so funny that like <laughs> the best deck, the best deck in the format ended up being Night Market Lookout and like Bloodsoak Champion. It's kind of crazy to me. Although like I, I was talking to one of my friends about how like my highest win percentage with like well, out of all the decks I've played, it's just always with Thoughtseize decks. <laughs> like I just only went four one or five zero with my Thoughtseize decks. However, however I built them, it was just like consistently just crushing with those specific decks. Sure. I think this is a little bit better than doing it the other way. Because this can deal with like a bigger creature. And then I can just as your like I can play this kill a thing. Um, or I could just grow it. Like, I can get it up to six with this Chandra, so. Okay, Murder Strider, nothing. Drew a World's Fight Worm. Um, yeah, I'll just play this and deal a bunch of damage to him. So yeah, I really didn't want to hit the second worm. That would be incredibly awkward. Siege and start drawing extra cards, I guess. Mono Black's just not well equipped to dealing with this card. Uh, what are the modes? So hopefully we don't get rid of this, this uh, the second worm. Even if we do, we could probably win without it. And as long as we have this worm, we could potentially set up a turn where we like discard it with Cathartic and then shuffle it back in and then try to put it in the play. Yeah. yeah, I just like super far ahead. Alright, cool. Two of mono black. So far so good. This is the deck we're playing, anyone just tuning in? I know, you probably don't know it. <laughs> the important cards do, but name looks really familiar. Maybe I just played this person a bunch. Zyarnak. Zyarnak? That's a hard name to say. Okay, I think it's easy to keep. I don't even know the name of this card. Indomitable Creativity. Yeah, so if we draw Indomitable Creativity, um, we could just put a World Spine Worm into play on the fourth turn. Alright, so this is another matchup that could be tricky, depending, like, the, if they're red-green, I think it's probably winnable. If they have Stubborn Denial in their deck, it's kind of tough. Okay. Copter. Mm. Mildly annoying, but probably beatable. Maybe not, actually. I really need to find, uh... 
This is a serious beatdown. Yeah, even if I was on the play, like... And this isn't that good of a draw from them, like, they didn't even have a turn on L. It's a fine draw, but... Pulse. A little awkward unless I find another spell. So I could play the Chandra just to stem the bleeding. I could play the Anger to set up the Impulse for next turn. Or I can play Chandra and then have Anger plus Impulse here. So how much damage am I going to take? I'm going to take at least 8th, go to 7. Turn after. I could also just Dwarven Mind plus Impulse and then chump this. So I actually think it's better to anchor. As shitty as it sounds. It's not better by a lot, but I think it's a little bit better. I can't beat much of anything though. Okay, so there was second armor cleave. So I gotta be conscious of that. A lot of mana too. Second copter, okay. Can I win? Actually, because I want to kill the copter. Yeah, it won't make a difference. Yeah, they just have second armor cleave, so like this could just attack along and I'd lose the game. Yeah, they're just gonna cleave here. I can hope they mess up, I guess. They have to armor cleave here. Oh, okay, yeah, it does target, yeah. I was gonna say, I didn't know if it just, like, came into play attached or some, like, weird whatever. Yeah, vehicle plus 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, 5-5 five, five is big. So 5-5 five, five is part of the reason I've roasted my sideboard. Um, that game was that game was pretty rough, though. Alright, so we want the roasts. Um, so they showed their red-green. A braid's nice. But we already have those in the main deck. I don't think I want this card. It does kill Copter. It curves pretty well. Maybe I, I could try it on the play. Just getting the, like, killing Copter, getting the 2-2, two -two, and then having a thing here is kind of nice. And then, like, there'll be not a large percentage, but maybe some games where, like, they Ember Cleave on, like, a shitter and they don't kill me and I want to be able to deal with it. I'm going to try one. How does that feel? I remember seeing someone play versus it. Oh, I, I had no idea anyone played this deck before. Um, I don't know. I, I played one match. We played against Mono Black and we 2 would them. So I, I, I think it's probably really, really, really bad. I think it's probably a terrible Magic the Gathering deck. Um, but it's just fun. It's something different. Uh, it's kind of cute. It's like one of the broken-ish things you can do in the format. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have any opinions yet. I, I played one match, and we just got crushed that game. Um, okay, do I want anything else? How do I think they're in a sideboard? I don't know. <laughs> I show them anger of the gods. <laughs> Right, 
I'm gonna trim. I'm gonna do what I did last time, just because they shouldn't be good at dealing with the worms. So I'm gonna trim two worms. And I think I want all the removal. I'm just gonna trim a cathartic, maybe. Do I want four angers? Seems unnecessary. Yeah, I don't know. My sideboard sucks. But that's just the nature of having a fucking a mono red deck that can't sideboard creatures or artifacts. Alright, so this is a turn four worm, so I'm gonna keep it. I can do a copter as well. Kill this. I want to deny mana because I don't want them to be able to have a wild slash to kill my 1 1. Um. Sleep. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. I think I want to play one of the two mana cards though. I'm going to play Roast. Probably shouldn't make a big difference. Like, I, I don't think. As long as they can't stop me from doing this, I'll be fine. I just want him to tap out. Okay. Alright, we get to give him the worm. I mean, it's working. Like, I, I will say the deck... We've, this is the fourth game we've played, but like, it's come together somewhat. We, we were lucky enough to play against like creature decks, but I think these decks are kind of popular. And um, I don't know how the feel of the dead matchup's gonna be. Like, it's gonna be really hard for the like black green version to deal with World Spide Worm, but the Bant version can just uh, can deferry it. But like, Verdict doesn't work, so it, it's kind of tricky. Like, one of the things that, that I think is important that's, like, different about this card from Polymorph is, like, it's X. So, like, you can get to a point where you just put three World Spine Worms into play. So, like, if they have Teferi or Oko, it's not going to matter. So, I think that's kind of cool. Now we're on the draw. Um, do I still want this card? Probably not that good on the draw. Four. I don't know what else I would want though. Like Sahili, Sahili helps me chump, which maybe is relevant. Just cause it's hard for me to deal with like the five five. But I can just kill all the one ones. I think that's doable. I could just have the third anger, maybe. Still have the abrade, so. Anger is Anger's not insane on the draw, but it's still gonna be okay. Like if they, if they go like elf into Ravel Master and we can stabilize it, whatever, like twelve or something. Alright, I hmm. I'm gonna try this hand on the draw, like. Again, this card's really important. I think Anger's gonna be decent most of the time. Sarkon's not great. I would like a one mana card. So the problem with this hand is if they just go like Elf Lovestruck Beast, I'm gonna eat shit. And I'm gonna get owned by Copter again. Am I supposed to mulligan aggressively? Maybe, yeah. I don't think this hand beats a good draw. Let's see, let's, let's say, so if they have a draw that's like, they go Elf, Rabble Master, hit me to 19, then they hit me for 6. Got to 13. 
It's like only good if their hand is bad against anger. I guess since I already have, I only have two arms in the deck. I'm just gonna mulligan. This hand's kind of bad. Um, hmm. I have 25 lands in my deck. <laughs> Don't wanna go to five. With 25 lands in my deck, I kind of want to keep this hand. So what, I need to hit three lands? I'm on the draw? I could just go to five. Hmm. So I have this. Yeah, if I hit all my lands, I can I can just roast a thing, cast Anger, and then play Chandra to kill something, and then set up this Chandra in to make a World Twin Worm. It's not very likely to hit all lands with 25. I get four shots at it in three turns. If I hit two lands... Hmm. I guess I'm gonna go to five. I don't know. Okay, this is probably our best hand, but it is five cards, which is not many. I think I need all my lands. I don't think exile on this shit really matters, so. I got seven, so we're probably dead. We'll see though. Maybe I just uh, kill an elf, kill a thing, find two lands, and then make a world swing arm. It's a pretty good five. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything but this one one. Just take one. I think it's important to make the few cards that I have count. <laughs> What's up, Archmage? Well, this sucks. Um, I guess this Love Struck Beast, they're just gonna get to hit me with the copter and I'm just gonna be unhappy. I'm gonna try to roast this, and I guess maybe if I draw another spell, I can try to impulse this at some point. It's not over. Not the best spot, not the worst spot. Okay, Cathartic's kind of nice. It's really not a great card to have when you mold a five, but it means I can deal with the Copter, so I'm not gonna complain. Um, I think I should roast, just I, need, I wanna gain a life. I could gamble and like kill this now, but I don't think that's very smart. Beast. Yeah, we just eat shit. Alright, um. So I probably need seven. Yeah, I just need to draw it next turn. And even then. Eh, I could win if I draw it. I mean, I'm just out of this in two hits. I mean, I'm dead to like everything ever, though. Probably just Ember Cleave me. Six out of two? I think I have an out, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, this on turn four probably made it so I couldn't win. Jeez. Okay, I mean it was multi five. I think I think like if we had a good seven, we probably could win that game. Bit unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? We'll see if we can get the next few. We got a game from him. I'll take that. Basically, a, a turn four concession. Um, so the two matches we played, every every game we put a turn four World Spine Worm into play, our opponents conceded. So it's somewhat reassuring. Um, Tommy Cakes. I put 20. I had 24 lands in this deck, but I was just worried that I wasn't going to draw enough lands, and now we're just not drawing any lands. So maybe there should be 26, but that sounds like way too many. My curve goes to 5 of 2 5 drops. I think 25 is plenty. So, Mulligan. Okay, this is. This is kind of it. So, I'll gladly keep this. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I don't know. My alerts are fucked up, but... Either way, thank you. Alright, keep... Done. Alright, so this is a turn four World Spine Worm and an interaction card. Maybe we get thought seized and everything sucks, but... We have some Planeswalkers. We can draw if that happens. They have a counter spell or removal spell for this. It's kind of awkward, but... I don't think many people are going to play around. Alright, so this matchup... If this is blue white, I think this is, like, the most unwinnable I could ever imagine. I just, like, I don't think any of these, like, cheesy, you know, tap-out combo-y decks are, are ever beat blue white control. Um, but we'll see. Also, I can't beat Teferi. I just, like, can't beat it. So I think that the odds... And, and my deck's entirely removal. I, I just, like, I don't think there are a, a, a single universe where I ever beat this deck. So I foresee us getting 2 would very rapidly. Um, what could happen? Maybe they have like a weird draw. Maybe they tap out on the turn, a turn. So I drew the second mine, which is good. Like if they tap out on a turn and I get to double worm them, I think I could win. But if I just put one worm into play, they can just deferry it. And it's really bad for me. So yeah. So now they can just counter it. Like yeah, I'm just fucked. I just like actually can't. So this is a turn four world world spine worm, but it doesn't matter because it's a fairy. So I'm just gonna make my one one and say go. Like I, I could make the worm. It forces the bounce, but I don't think that accomplishes really anything, so. Plus, yep. Tap out. Keep going. More mana. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, all right. Winnable. Winnable. Oh, my God. All right, we're still going to lose because they can have Detention Sphere. They can have Azori's Charm. They can have Settle the Wreckage. They can have so many things. I could try to get four worms, but I don't think... Double worms, go. Don't detention sphere me. Don't have like anything in the world. So this is one of the, what, like, for me to beat Teferi step one was them tapping out and not countering this. Um, but step two is them having like literally nothing. Like if they just bounce a world's by worm and have an Azorius charm, it's gonna suck. Um, so the detention sphere, obviously it sucks. If they have big Teferi, they can bounce and then tuck. Uh, I just, I'm getting my hopes up, but blessed alliance, big to fairy. Oh no! All right, well I just lose because of that. I thought it was I thought it was offering the yield. I don't know. I just gave that like my pile would have been nah. I just lose. If it if it don't have a land here, I could actually win. Wait. Yeah. Wait, they just plus. Okay, so they have a Zora's Charm. So I was fucked anyway. 
Whoops, I didn't mean to give them three pile, obviously. Anyone with the brain knows that though, so I don't have to explain. All right, um, so I can make three five fives and get another world time if they don't have a counter spell. I think I have to do that. Clear, clearly they have a Zorius charm. So yeah, we're just gonna do that and hope they don't have Verdict. But even if they have Verdict, then we have a bunch of five fives. Okay, this kind of could be okay because they didn't tuck this. I really wish I could get another token though, but I can't greed. Play my land just in case. So now they could just like verdict, bounce the other one. Yeah, I'm pretty screwed, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep on keeping on. I gave them a free Blessed Alliance. No, I gave them a free, I gave them a free Blessed Alliance and a land. Assuming, yeah, that, that, that misclick was so fucking bad for me. That's really unfortunate. Whatever, what else is new? Me, me misclicking on Moto, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Maybe this is a verdict. And then I just, I don't really have anything going for me at that point. So I do have, I do have six mana Chandra in my board specifically for this matchup. It doesn't at all matter. Like they can easily beat it. But that's one of the only things I could really think of that might help me against a counter spell deck. And then we've got some fries. The fries are really good too. So I think I'm just gonna board in uh, Saheeli, Fry, and Chandra. And probably Apo Siege. So these token cards don't do shit. I don't even know what I can draw. I'm just gonna concede. I wonder if I could have won this game. Probably not, right? Like, let's see. I'm I'm ninety percent sure they have. Uh, yeah, they even discard Blessed Alliance. I'm ninety percent sure they have Azorius Charm. Otherwise, they would have just tucked the World's Mind Worm because I don't think they were gonna Blessed Alliance it. So even if like they don't play the Teferi that turn and they just bounce and then Azorius Charm the other one. I think I still would have probably lost. But that misclick sucked. Alright, let's board all this shit. And then I just don't want to removal, I guess. So I don't really care about Lyra. Um could I have like Needle? Is your Mortars? Like, so the upside of Mortars is it kills. Could I just, I probably would just board in these. All my cards are so bad. Okay, so what's the best removal spell to have? If they could have like Mentor. Elspeth. I don't know if they're going to be boarding a needle. I didn't even show them a planeswalker, I don't think. Yeah, I just have too many removal spells. I'm not sure how popular control is. I think it's really bad right now, so I don't think it's that popular. So I don't have, I maybe you don't have enough sideboard cards for it. Um. gets countered, I lose it all. Yeah, well, the, the Teferi came with a land. Like, I, I don't know. They could have just had another, another land anyway. But, like, I, I gave them Teferi plus a land. So if they didn't have a land, it gave me a shot at that. I, it doesn't matter. I think I would have lost by a whole bunch. So, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I think I have to play this. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna discard this. I can get it back with Chandra. Um, do I greed? I'm gonna greed on a mountain. If I miss this, is really bad, but the matchup's bad enough that I'm, I think I'm okay with doing some greedy stuff. I get four shots at it. And then I have 20 mountains in my deck. It's not the end of the world. I don't just like lose on the spot if I miss. Yep. The very being able to bounce this is pretty annoying actually. I don't know what my plan is. Like, just going for the worm doesn't really work most of the time. They don't have a second blue. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to play this. They're going to plus Teferi now. Yeah, I can't beat this fucking card. It's so annoying. Oh, can't bounce this, right? It can't bounce enchantments, I think. <laughs> Artifact creature enchantment. God damn it. Fuck this card, dude. <laughs> hey, can y'all just hurry up and ban ban this card? So we can play like reasonable magic. Please and thank you. Maybe I can sneak in a Sarkon or something. Opt. Oh, they can't absorb. They have a second veto. Sarkon should be decent. I think I'm gonna jam it. It's kind of tricky. Because of this plus verdict. But I guess I just attack with the dragon before I plus. Okay, so if I if I let them vert it, nah, it doesn't work. Ah, fuck this matchup. I mean, after playing the games, I could see like how you could win. Okay, so I do I get just get to carry? Oh, I just get it all. Okay. So I get three worms and I get to kill the fairy. That's so bad versus detention sphere. I just get two worms. I think it's fine to play around detention sphere. I'll, pro I'll probably lose a detention sphere regardless, but I don't think they can win without it. Even if I have two. Because it's 19 damage, right? Well, that must have been my imagination. It makes me realize. Desperately alone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, we won a game. Cool. Maybe we can steal the third game with this card. Maybe they just have like a bad draw in Mulligan or something. Um, did they show us anything different? Not really. Uh, having Anger in feels so bad. I just don't know. Like maybe it's better to have one mana. Like if these were Wild Slashes, I it'd be much better for me. 
but I think mono... The reason I have these instead of Wild Slash is just because, like, I don't really want to do damage to the face. It's not super relevant. Uh, fighting over the Planeswalkers is kind of relevant, but, uh... Anger? I don't know. Whatever. I'll just have, like, a mix of random garbage trash that doesn't do anything. <laughs> Sure. Now oh, they mulliganed. Step one. Good fry. Fry is pretty good. I have thrill to discard the shitty anger of the gods. <laughs> and then the dwarven mines are nice. Like the free one ones, cool. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, okay, that does do something. I was like, what the fuck does this do? It stops the worms. Okay, whatever. We got Planeswalkers. That's kind of like a mulligan anyway. Um, Put it into a graveyard. Um, There's no real reason for me to have it in my hand anyway. Like, it literally doesn't do anything, right? So I should keep the anger anyway. Sucks I can't shuffle in the worms, but whatever. Okay, so this is a turn four worm. But again, again, it's not really like a big deal against this deck. Nice to hit the mountain into the mines though. We got fry, baby. Uh, this game actually looks pretty good. They're low on resources, they mulligan and play to rest in peace. Um, so we get to double worm. We can we can force the counter spell on the outpost siege. Okay. And then potentially double worm. Chandra. Well, that's a good one. I think that's so much better than um, this because it can get bounced. I'm just gonna play the Chandra. Five of seven mana, which doesn't really do anything for me. So I guess I should play the mine and then plus Chandra. Because I hit Sarkon and I want to play it. Right, let me eat so seven, this is four and four. Shit, I like to see. Okay, so do I just emblem them right away? I could kill to fairy. I think I just emblem them. Like, if they kill this, it's maybe a little bit worse, but as long as I have this 1-1, one, one, I can sort of go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to this, and this isn't like an insane game-breaking Planeswalker. Like, the passive... Fucking annoying. The... God damn it. 
The passive, like, doesn't do that much, and it doesn't do a ton as long as I have this dwarf. So they have one card left. If they can kill this, they will. So I'm probably going to attack and then play this. So it has to be a counter spell. And it's just the best possible one. God, it's so unfortunate. I'm going to lose this game, aren't I? Damn, dude. The opponent just had... Ugh. Just like everything... I can't attack the Teferi now. I'm gonna lose because I didn't kill the Teferi with the Chandra. I think I played correctly. Um, my opponent had to have a very specific set of draws and cards, and then they, they exactly did. So, it's unfortunate, but GG's. I guess I can look at their deck. I mean, I'm gonna try to win because I have the stupid emblem on them, but. Uh, um, so they have an Absorb. So they have, this is gonna kill me instantly. The Rev's gonna kill me instantly. I guess it's just those two cards. So, uh, they have two big Teferis. Yeah. So they have some bricks, but they have just a ton of cantrips. So. Um, I think it's bad to trade, so I won't. I should have sandbagged the land. I'm just not thinking because I'm kind of tilted. So this, this should definitely be in my hand. My opponent got extremely lucky. I don't know. I guess I got lucky to draw what I drew. That sucks. I mean, me drawing the crumble, yeah, the crumble doesn't really matter. Like, the castle doesn't really matter either. I guess it's a clock, but... Fuck, dude. I could, I could still draw another Chandra. I could draw a Chandra and then they could brick for like two turns. But uh, it's like 1 in 41. I have a bunch of Planeswalkers in my deck. They don't do a lot, but Little Chandra helps me pressure to Fairy, which is cute. I don't know. It's rough. It's a rough spot. Extremely close. Like, if I get double emblem on them with the Chandra, it's just, like, so insanely good for me. One is just, like, not enough. I think, like, even in the scenarios where I get lucky, one barely kills them. I just drew big to Fairy for turn. What a Fucking master, dude. Ah, oh, this person makes me sick. All right, my shitty mono red deck is getting unlucky, and I'm being a salty little, little prick about it. I should shut up. I really wanted to win though, because I think this matchup is so bad, and things went went really well. Yeah. They got really lucky. Fuck me. Oh. What are you gonna do? Wild Swing, 3R, choose any three target non-enchantment permanents, destroy one of them at random. This is Card and Pioneer? I, I have no idea what Wild Swing is, I've never seen that. They drew Elspeth, okay. Ah. It's fine. I, I was not destined to beat that person. It's all good. We had a lot of dead cards, too, so. Even if they, like, did draw well right away. Um, like, they're probably favored over the course of, like, six turns to draw more, more good cards than I was. I was, like, so far ahead, though. And I think this deck plays two Detention Spheres. So, it's, like, incredibly unlikely... For them to draw to have the second one it, it's it's reasonable for them to have teferi to bounce detention sphere but that means i get my chandra back so yeah that was just that was a really really rough loss but you know get over it will shut up play the next match finish the league go to the hell to sleep be happy have a good thanksgiving you guys excited for thanksgiving i love thanksgiving i love eating eating's like the best Honestly, nothing better. Um, yeah, I mean, these are the type of hands you just keep. Obviously, my my dragon fodder anger of the gods deck doesn't look super impressive here, but that's all right.
wyvern. All right, well, we're probably gonna get elfed, which I accept. Emery, ooh, cool. So I think this is that stupid combo deck. I got this. Um, how do I approach this? A bunch of planeswalkers. We'll probably die. Do I care about anger in this matchup? They should Emery. I do care about anger. The question is, do I play the dragon fodder or do I play the dwarven mine? I think I'm just gonna play mountain go. Hmm. Kind of awkward. If I had more information, this turn would be a lot easier to figure out. It's like 98% to be the stupid uh, four color combo deck. Yeah, that confirms it. Nice. Maybe it doesn't confirm it. I don't know. This deck probably plays Carrington. Anger sweet though. I can deal with this. Mountain's nice too. So next turn we can anger and then play this, get the one one and then just hope to draw. What's it called? So we got rewarded for, for not playing the dragon fodder and um, not playing the door in mine. What the fuck? I can't. Oh wait, no, I don't search my deck, right? Okay, I don't think I searched my deck. What the fuck is this? It's got Ash Yacht. Oh, you built you. Ooh, cool. Okay. I guess I could wait on the anger, maybe? I don't know if they're just gonna, like, kill me next turn. And how much the carry did helps with that. I kind of want to deal with it. I guess I'm just going to play Chandra. Okay, so this is Kethis. I don't entirely know how the deck works, but I know it basically plays this card and then casts this infinite times and then decks itself and wins. Not infinite, but you know, like 20, 30, 40, however many times. Hold anger? Okay. Well, I did that. I didn't read chat because I'm a terrible streamer, but I did do that. All right. Do I anger now? I assume, yes, but maybe I don't have to. What do I want the anger for? Like what? what's the, the card that anger becomes better against? They didn't more set up to kill, most importantly, they just milled two Kethis, so they might not have one in hand. So they need to have this card to kill you, I guess. So I anger now, right? And they just kill this. I assume that's correct. I could also abrade. Like, what, so why do I sandbag the anger? What is it good against? I think the nine man is fine. They loop Hope of Europer, so that's Mox Amber, okay. I'd rather a Braid Emery. Okay, we get to kill the Ashiok. I accomplished the same stuff. I guess if they play, yeah, maybe that's better because, like, whatever, if they just have, like, a mid rangey draw, I can just get more cards with this. It'd be one thing if I was missing out on killing the Ashiok just because it removes, like, whatever milling, but maybe that's not relevant either. I have plenty of resources. I guess I'm supposed to play the Dragon Fox. Probably fine to play the land because I'm just gonna discard the world spine worm, but if I drop cathartic reunion. Maybe I wasn't supposed to play this. It makes it better if I draw um this card. Goose, sure. What the fuck? Why are you so many ash yaks?
Okay, so they have three Cactus in the graveyard, so they probably are just looking for what to Mayo to get it back. So I can just kill... The Goose, probably worth doing. And then kill the Ashiok, I guess. This is the old read the world's buy and worm pause. Looking for Tashar or Kethis, okay. So Tashar, I think, is the four drop that like you get stuff back. So next turn I can thrill again with the Chandra. Um, and hopefully we can make some worms. So many fucking ash yeah. Alright, so there's no more Kethas. Oh, they exiled my graveyard. Cute. Okay. Outburst. I guess I'm just beating down. I can even overload this next turn. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> I played so many ash yaks. Um, so do I sandbag the land? I think I do. Doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just gonna pivot in full beatdown mode, chat. I think I still mortars. <laughs> oh god, this deck's OP. And if I draw the castle, I draw the castle, it's double damage, baby. So this is four, six, ten. Maximize my damage. Oh, they have a food, so. This is such a stupid game. I think they're dead. I don't know if they have enough mana to do to accomplish what they need to accomplish. Oh, this was no, it's not lethal. I'm an idiot. I was gonna say this was lethal, but this this was plus two, so it's actually they go to two. I don't think I missed lethal anyway. Maybe if I like a six, so if I minus this and find the castle off the thrill, it could be lethal. Oh, am I just dead? Did I just lose because I drew this? Ah, oh, I fucking lost. That's so fucking sad. I didn't think about them being able to draw Lazav. Right? I lose. Ugh. All right, rough league. Unlucky games. We can try to win the match. Yeah, I'm dead. Fuck, dude. So they had to draw Lazav. They draw Tamayo. I guess... Tamayo probably does it, because they have the Mox Hammer. So yeah, I lost. <laughs> Fuck. Sucks to suck, doesn't it? Alright, um... Okay, so this is like a graveyard-based combo deck. I don't think I have many sideboard cards for them. I think I'm just gonna try to, like, do my thing better than they can. Um, Fry seems good, I guess. Let's break up their combo. I probably want this, even though I have to sack a land. Just because it's another way to break up their combo. Um. Try to mana screw their four color deck. I don't know if that one's gonna work. Um, and the removal is actually kind of good in this matchup, even though it's like a weird combo deck, so. 
That's kind of nice. Um, okay, so I think this plan is important. How good is anger? It looks okay. They should have carried it. Actually, the mortars seem poor. Feels bad. Wait, how does he win from here? Um, so they're just gonna. I mean, I'm sure Arcmage already explained it. Yeah, so they're just gonna like Emery themselves a million times, and then use Kethis to cast Jace. And then they're gonna deck themselves, and Jace says, "If you if you deck yourself, you win the game." And then Kethis lets them. Uh, I don't know if the MG. If, if you can show the the card Kethis, that's the one that lets you cast your legends from the graveyard. You exile two legends, and then you can cast a legend from your graveyard, and it call, all your legends cost one less. So you just delete Mox Amber with it. Hot dog. <laughs> Uh, Alright, we'll, we'll try to do better. I think I just want to try to worm them on curve. Sam looks like it accomplishes that, so we'll keep. Feels bad, dude. I wonder if this deck's good. No one ever puts up results with it. Ever. Like, I just never see it 5-0. I think I normally lose to it when I play against it, but, uh... I don't know. It seems like it should be pretty decent. Okay. Now I'm just gonna play the mine. I think it's gonna be hard for them to pressure Chandra. And this will give me bodies for this, so... So, this deck also probably plays a little Teferi, I assume. Not certain. So maybe I wait wait till I have five mana to do this. If anyone knows if this deck plays a little Teferi or not, feel free to holler at me. I'm just gonna add a little bit to this. white mana. Nope. Okay, so this is kind of shit. So I find a land. Do not care about this? I guess it does the cost reduction shit. What are the odds they block with both? Kind of low? I showed them anger. Um, do I want the loyalty or do I want the damage? I think I want the loyalty... Probably just fry this guy. I could even cathartic reunion. If I miss on a land, it's pretty bad. But I'm giving them a lot more time if I don't. I think I'm gonna cathartic reunion. So now, next turn, I want to find another land, um, and then make two worms. I'm pretty sure, that, I don't know why this deck wouldn't play Teferi. I don't think it makes a ton of sense to not play that card, so I assume it's in there. Do I think anything will be banned? Yeah, I think three things will probably be banned. I think once, of a once upon a time should and will be banned. I think Field of the Dead should and will be banned. And I don't know if Smuggler's Copter should be banned. I'm kind of indifferent. I don't really care if it's legal or not, but I think it will probably end up getting banned. Those are my guesses. Oh, I'm so stupid. I forgot they could just do this. It doesn't really make a difference, but land. Hmm. Could just. So with that Teferi, I lose it all, and then I have nothing left. Probably just supposed to fry. Like they're not 
I don't think I'm too afraid of them doing anything. So do I want to minus and fry? Or is it better just have the loyalty on my Chandra? It's probably better to have the loyalty. I could Cathartic and discard Fire Impulse. Maybe that's the best. I really want to get two worms. I think it's important. And I think it's fine. I don't think I'm so afraid that I need to play around uh, the fairy. Maybe there's some weirdo shit they could have that I'm not thinking of that deals one to this. And I lose it all, but I don't think it's that likely. They, they have to play so many weirdo cards for their deck to, to function as a combo deck. So I don't think there's too much space for like... Okay. So if they have Teferi plus Oko, it's gonna be bad. It's not the end of the world though. I still have the 3 3 and then I can get another worm. And I have the Chandra reg regardless. Probably not, right? <laughs> so it looks like it's a double chump. Or sorry, no, is it a double chump? It's a chump? No, it's not. Okay. Duh, right? Mox Hammer's on the stack, you idiot. They take a point though, so they have 16. So I guess I'm zeroing this regardless. So they can take one to gain three. Put them at 20. So 20 is a block block. So if I just zero, they can eat both of these and then go to uh, two. Yeah, I think I just... I want this to die. So I, I, I can actually target their things. So, hmm. Ah, oh, we're so close. So I can only get two arms no matter what. So this puts me at seven mana, which means I can do it for four. So I target two of my things, two of their things. So if I attack here, here, this just becomes Kethis and they eat this. It doesn't shuffle back into the deck. Or if I zero the Chandra, I guess it's fine to just kill both my worms off. So if I zero the Chandra, attack with everything, they eat both the 1-1s. So they eat here, and then they eat a 1-1-6, so it's gonna 1, but then they can't do that because they'll die. So I think I zero and shove everything in their face. I think this is the best line by a little bit. Not, 
to just jump in. Okay. I'm supposed to kill the Mox Amber? No, right? So I only have two arms on my deck, so there's no reason to kill three mount things. Get an emery? Does that matter? Neoform, so I just die anyway. Fuck my life, dude. These two games are so close. I assume I'm dead, right? Maybe not? I don't know. So what, the, their last card's a legend, they play it, they get back Kethis, they go ape shit. I guess their last card is actually Kethis. God, dude. Just two games where they were just actually dead. And then they killed me right before. Yeah, if we could get our things going a little bit faster, we could have won. Maybe I'm not dead, I don't know. I assume I'm super dead. They just loot Mox Amber. And then get back. Maybe I'm not dead. We'll see. I'm just gonna sit here. We'll chill. I mean, maybe I'm not dead. I don't, I don't really know. Probably dead, right? Do they need to like hit a second emery? Huh, all right, cool. I honestly didn't really think about it. So I guess they needed, if they just had a second emery, I think I'd lose. Maybe they can't, yeah, no, they just make mana. So this gets extra Mox Ambers. So if the second em emery, they just get two Mox Ambers per. Right? I don't know. So they just didn't have a way to keep going, I guess. They didn't have another legend. Couldn't they? So they didn't have enough legends to exile either. Alright. One game. So they have Oko. And I haven't seen Teferi, right? But it's probably in their deck. So that is rough. That means they're going to be really good at dealing with these stupid world spine arms. Um, I mean, yeah. I guess I like the way my deck's configured. I think I still want this just because it's an instant speed way to kill Kethis. Um, and Sarkon's like sort of part of the plan B. Chandra doesn't seem like it interacts that well with their deck. That's part of why I trimmed one. And anger seems reasonable to have. So I'm just gonna leave those in. I think I like the way I have my deck configured. Okay, I mean. That seems good. Maybe we get turn two oh couldn't die. My opponent's deck, when they're not doing their combo thing, looks probably much better than my deck does. That's nice, though. It's not a Planeswalker, and it's something I can, uh, I can anger away. Could have braided the food, interestingly, here. It's not that bad. I want to anger this stuff. 
I don't want to get a four mana Planeswalker resolved against me. I could just upgrade the goose. Like, the food doesn't matter a lot. Um. Probably should kill this soon. Or braid the food. It's kind of a strange play. Like, it, it gives some information to my opponent, but I don't know if it really changes the way that they can react. Like, they're sort of just limited by their own mana anyway. And if they just, like, want to spend their next turn making a food, I'll just anger. Doesn't really matter. It's sort of the same result, except for they just get time walked. Okay. So they can mill themselves, set a Mox Amber they missed. So I think it's fine to anger. Um, I wanna I wanna do this twice anyway, so I'm gonna anger now. And then hopefully this Chandra can live, and then I can make double double worms. If they have pressure for the Chandra, it's gonna be a little bit awkward. But like I said, like there's like their deck is just such a pile of random stuff. It might be kind of difficult for them. This is a Tashar that's scary. So they can make a 3-3. Three, three. But the Chandra means I get to flash this back. Fortunately, I have the third worm, so I can only get one new worm. I'm just dead. That'd be sad. I assume I'm not dead, right? I don't think so. The graveyard doesn't look that stock. I just get to. I don't think they can do much more, right? So I just get to kill this, kill all their planeswalkers, or they're just dead on board. What am I talking about? Well, they're not dead on board, right? This block's here, so they weren't technically dead. I mean, I had the Chandra, so they were dead. But all right, we got there. Nice. All right, we'll see if we can get a three-two. Um. The decks felt fine. It hasn't really felt as bad as I thought it was going to feel. Um, yeah, I've got to do my thing more often than I sort of expected. Um, and when I'm not doing my thing, like sometimes you just like beat down with some random shitter tokens and you have planeswalkers and removal, so... Um, it's felt okay. I would, I would be interested to play against the Field of the Dead deck. Because um, I don't really know how that matchup would go. I think I'd probably lose, but be close yeah, these hands with worlds by worm it sort of feels like it's just a free roll to mulligan them but like there's still four in the deck so i could just redraw one i'm on the draw like this is a fine six it's not special though i guess i'm just gonna hope they're a creature deck i don't know I was lucky. Never not lucky, chat. I 
Like, there are some worlds where maybe it's correct to wait, but I don't want to randomly get like 5-5 five, five or Planeswalker, so I think I'm just going to shoot it. Yeah, these are braids that looked fantastic. Everyone's just smugglers copying us. Well, if we just draw Indomitable Creativity, the card that's name I can totally remember. We'll just have a turn four worm. And if not, like we kill the copter. Uh, maybe I don't have another land. They don't want to land, do I just... Nah. So why would I anger now? I'm just super greedy to do that. Uh, I can just block the 5-5 five five with my 1-1. One one. So, and then I can minus Chandra and anger the 5-5 five five if I really want to. Assuming they hit a land. bad for them. I think they probably needed to hit a land to be in this game. We'll see though. Seven mana, so it's only not, or that's nine. I guess I could anger and worm. Right. <laughs> Everybody's got to read the world spawn worm, and then they have to read the uh, indomitable creativity. I cannot remember this card's name. It feels just an awkward thing to say, indomitable. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. Alright, so we just have him dead with the Sarkon next turn, it's 19 damage. Easy clap. It's Gruel again with Smuggler's Copter. I guess this deck's popular. I don't know. I haven't looked at uh, recent meta results. Maybe at like one of PTQ or some shit. Uh, but I haven't seen Smuggler's Copter and Gruel very often. It makes sense with the Lovestruck Beast and the Elvish, uh, Elvish Mystic. So I really liked playing uh, Smuggler's Copter with Corsair. Like that specific interaction was really awesome. And I was hoping that I would see more people try it. But no one really has. Just because like you always hit your land. And like the Copter just makes your Corsair insane. And then, like, if you like, the copper helps with the extra lands you get too, because you're playing lands off the top, and sometimes you're just like drawing lands naturally. Uh, I don't even remember how I boarded. I didn't board this in, right? Seems unnecessary. I boarded in these for Love Struck Beast. That's probably it. And then I had this on the play, I think. I'm cool with this, I think. Mm. So 
Did we lose to this? Did we like mold a five and die? I think that's what happened last time. Um, I don't want to mold a five and die. That being said, this hand's kind of weak. We can't kill an elf. I'm gonna gamble this time. I mean, maybe we get clobbered by Smogless Copter and Love Struck Beast and Mulligan to six. But at the same time, Anger's, Anger should be okay against most of their draws. And it helps against Embercleave somewhat. It's weird to have Smuggler's Copter and Embercleave in the same deck. That's sort of a nonbo. So they might be the more all-in version. This is the one I'm used to that just has eight of these things. I mean, maybe that is the version everyone plays. I don't really know. And I've seen Collected Company, so maybe they have Collected Company here? No. Okay, three cards left. This could be Ember Cleave. No. Maybe like a pump spell of some sort. Be spooky. We have just collision glasses here. Nope. I'm 13 of four cards. Yep. So I'm gonna stop in their main phase. Probably. Uh, well. Even if they have Ember Cleave, they're not going to be able to kill my dude, so I'm just going to blow this in zero. I guess plus one. There's two zeros. And I maybe should save the braid for an Ember Cleave? I don't really know. Gonna snap off a block the attack. This genre's been pretty impressive, just in like the grindy games. Probably don't have to greet, I'll just leave a red. I don't know what they could really do here. Like a dragon would be annoying, but I could still answer it. Rebel Master. Probably should just flash back Cathartic Reunion. I'm at 12. So next time we get Double Worm. Probably we'll just play it safe. Well, now I can do it all. Could even kill the Rabble Master if I really wanted to. 
with the uh, with this card and just force them to reroll. But like, it's not unlikely that they hit another rival master. They could hit like an elf. Um, it's a play that I maybe would consider. But yeah, so I had three outbursts and I made one of them a dragon fodder just for curve consideration and got a reward for the dragon fodder right there just because I got to use my mana better. So I think they're gonna kill one of my one ones. I'm gonna get 115, 15, 15, but it's probably gonna be good enough. I can even buff it, <laughs> funnily enough. Three two. Um, we lost a match. We molded to five in the third game, and then we, we got crushed by that blue white opponent. But we played three games, right? And like the third game, it felt like they got pretty lucky for us to lose. Um, so I think I think there are some universes where maybe we five zero that league. Like I think this is a deck you could probably five zero with. Like I'll say it was kind of impressive. Um, I'm not I'm not gonna tell everyone to play this at their next Grand Prix, but. Um, it worked a lot more than I thought it would. Like this one's definitely gonna go up on YouTube because I think it's a really cool deck and I think people will like seeing it. Um, but yeah, I mean like just the ability to grind too was sort of impressive. Like you just play removal, like Dwarven Mine gives you these free one ones. You just play removal, play Planeswalker, and then eventually, um, you know, you make a worm. Um, so what would I change maybe? What was awkward what wasn't? I, the removal, like, the deck just looks like a pile, but I'm not entirely sure how to construct it. And that's part of why I have the numbers I do. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with the numbers I landed on though. I like 25 lands. Um, the castle never came up, but I think it's reasonable to have. I think three, three of each Chandra is really good. Maybe you could have four of this Chandra if you really want to. It's pretty impressive. Um, the Sarkons felt reasonable, maybe not necessary, but I think it's a good plan B. Um, and yeah, you probably don't need four worms. You just play three, two, whatever. Um, and the Cathartic Union and Thrill were surprisingly less embarrassing than I thought they'd be just because of Little Chandra. Like, it's just nice to have a card draw spell to flashback. Um, so maybe cut a worm or two. It's kind of awkward when you draw a bunch. So I, I guess I would I would try three, or maybe you could just try two and see how it feels and see if you get screwed over because of it. Um, a braid was fantastic. It was really, really, really good. I really liked the abraid. Um, being able to kill copter the turn like on the play, the turn they play it before they crit, and then play like a planeswalker is really nice. Um, so I like that. The mortars felt medium. Like maybe they should just be actual roasts. We overloaded it like once, and I don't think it really mattered. Um, but it, it's one of the reasons I have Mortars is just like you can play it early and then with the Chandra you can flash it back just as like a one-sided, like a Plague Wind, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I would have one Cathartic, three Thrill. I think that's how I would switch the card draw stuff. Um, the one Dragon Fire looks kind of random, but I think it is nice just to be able to, if you draw like this and this, just be able to curve this into this, um, as well as like you can play Dragon Fodder off Chandra. Um, and if you get it like six mana, you can play Dragon Fodder and then play this on an open board. Um, so I don't know what spell I would add exactly in place of the worm. You could just have like five card card draw spells, maybe. Yeah, this is the type of deck I probably have to play a lot with and just lose a lot with to figure out. But maybe I'll end up doing that. We'll see. Um... In regards to the sideboard, the Alpo Siege seemed fine. It's probably better as... Like, it getting bounced by Teferi was pretty annoying. So maybe you want just a different four mana Chandra. You do this. Um, 
Big Sh Big Chandra seems seems actually pretty good. Like it, we had a really awkward game where where it got detention sphered right away, but I think it's it's a way to beat the decks that you can't really beat any other way. Um, aside from just like playing a second color, like you do not have to be mono red. You could be blue red. I mean, you you could be any any combination. I wanted to be mono red just because of how uh, red intensive this card is, but you could totally be two colors. Um, so that's probably something worth visiting in some capacity. Um, but I think the sideboard I, I came to sort of makes sense. Uh, Crumble's a card I'll have to play with against Field. And this is like, I don't know, just randomly there. The Roasts seem pretty important for Lovestruck Beast. Um, yeah, I kind of don't hate the sideboard. Like, it's bad, but like we're playing a deck that's super limited just from the nature of building a deck around this card. So maybe one of these should just be another Braid. But like, I don't really want to board in more removal. Like, it's tricky. So yeah, I, I want to figure out a better sideboard. I think the main deck's close-ish. Like, at least in this specific metagame, like the mono black heavy metagame. I think it's decently well-constructed. Um, and it, yeah, it felt, it felt way more powerful than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be kind of difficult to just like, worm people, but it really wasn't. We did it like, probably half the games, maybe more than half of the games. Um, so yeah. So this one's gonna go up on YouTube. Um, like I said, it's a short stream, so sorry if you guys wanted to see more. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get a league in with this one. I, I was gonna stream yesterday, but I never got around to it. So even though it's super late, I wanted to get a quick stream in. Um, but yeah, this deck was really cool. So if you're watching on YouTube, thanks. If you're watching live, thanks. Um, appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, I probably won't be on tomorrow, obviously. I'm sure most people won't but you guys have an awesome thanksgiving if you're not celebrating thanksgiving have a great day have a great morning night um feel free to sub to my youtube if you want to see other pioneer stuff i play crazy decks like this all the time um and if i think it's interesting or if i think the league was cool i'll, I'll post stuff on there um you can also follow me on twitter so you can know when i go live and I, I post all my decks there too if you don't want it's a little easier to just like look at when you're just chilling on your phone um but yeah, Pioneer's great. Uh, I'm just sort of waiting on the bands. Um, I, I, I cannot wait to... I think this this is probably going to be like the, the most impactful band. And then maybe one of the last bands. One of the last big bands for the format. Um, and maybe that's not true. But at least, at least for like the early set of bands. Like they'll probably be long-term bands. When people just like figure out stupid broken stuff that no one could figure out early on. Um, but I'm really excited about the next bands. Because I think it's going to like... I think it's... They're going to sort of chill or like not have to ban as much after they, they come out with the next set of bannings. Um, but we'll see. 